So, uh, tonight. So, tonight I'm gonna. Yeah, okay, I don't know what the hell, bloody hell that was. So, tonight I'm going to look at a, check out a few rooms, and then I'm gonna round the video off by going back to what I call the haunted room. I went in there in the other video, I went in there and I sat down in an office, and I did, I did hear some strange uh, sounds. Don't know, don't know what it was. But I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna check it out again, one more time. But I'm gonna explore a few other rooms first. See what there is, see what we can find. First of all, let's check out this room then. Uh, let's see, that hopefully, hopefully. Maybe. Right. Let's see if the door It is unlocked. No idea what this room is. Probably some kind of conference room, I'm guessing. A lot of chairs. A lot of chairs. got a clock here that's a, an hour late it's actually uh, yeah it's actually three at the moment seven minutes past three so yeah we've gone back in time we've gone back in time maybe there's some sort of time doorway we travel back an hour wouldn't that be something exciting to talk about I'm gonna keep my torch here, because then it might stop it from losing focus all the damn time. You know, there are sometimes you, when you walk into a room or you, or you, you, know, you walk into a place and you get this sort of negative feeling, right? You know, you get this feeling of, ah, yeah, I'm not alone. And you know, you, I don't, I'm not getting that in this room. I think this, yeah, it feels pretty, safe in here yeah so i'm gonna head out i don't think i don't think it's anything spooky in here not really not really i'm not i'm not feeling it i mean it's dark and abandoned and everything there's one no one about but no i don't think i don't think no i think we should move on let's move on let's move on Say, I was gonna say the spookiest thing in this room right now is me. <laughs> right. right, we're gonna head off to what I call the haunted room. Actually, shut. I don't know. So it's locked, right? Looks like it's locked, which is uh, making me think. Uh, do I really want to go? The last thing I need is this damn room locking behind. Hi. Yeah, now this room on the other hand is the completely different from the other room. I mean, what I mean by completely different, it's got a different feel. It just, uh, yeah, it just doesn't feel good in here. I don't want this damn door locking behind me. I'll use this. <laughs> I 
imagine if that door locked, closed and locked behind me. That would be amazingly terrible. I don't, I don't even know if there's a way out. I know there's a door here, but I don't have this door. I don't have this door. This door is locked. Yeah, and it's, it's that damn. Yeah, this door is locked, so I don't want to be anywhere out. So I'd be if I got locked in here, I'd be in trouble. I'd have to wait until the morning and someone let me out and. And I thought I'd have some damn well explaining to do then, wouldn't I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am on my own in this area. I've, I've got to say that there is nobody else around. It's just me. Me and uh, one other scientist who's working in a... Working in a... Completely different uh, part of the hospital. Completely different department. You don't really get any security guards around this area. They're usually they sometimes patrol outside. I'm just going to readjust my, and put my torch. In. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to have to invest in a better torch, aren't I? and a better camera. Wait a second. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is it. Got the door propped open over there. Luckily the door didn't, uh, didn't close a lot behind me. <laughs> oh. I'm going to close this up. Yeah, let's close it up. See? Oh, no, it's not going to lock. It's not going to lock. <laughs> okay. Uh, Well, we'll just have to. We'll just have to leave it at that. I'll come back and I'm going to check it later. Wait a second, I insert this. Yeah, look, you can see. Look. No one around. Nobody around. Nobody around at all. But yeah, I do hear these, like I said, every now and then I hear this like a, a loud bang. I heard it, I heard one. Don't know if the camera picked it up. But no, no idea. <sighs> no idea whether the camera picked it up or not. Let's take a little look outside. Like I said, there was a one of the uh, one of the other videos there was like a, a shadowy figure hanging around there but I've not seen it since so whether it was something supernatural whether it was just some strange weird drifter person
don't know. God, the camera keeps. This has been the worst that I've known my camera to keep losing focus. It's never this bad. Time. There you have the real time. Uh, Twenty past three. Nobody here. Nobody around. I'm going to explore one more room in this video. I might as well, yeah. This this room here, again, uh, with this what I was talking about earlier about spirits. I feel like they move around. Now, this room I used to think was haunted, right? Now, there's a right. This room I'm about to enter. Now, this room here, the light turns on automatic automatically when you enter it, right? Which it will do. Ready? Right, I'll take my torch off now. This area here, where pretty certain was haunted for a long time. I got this, this, got this lift. Yeah, I was pretty certain that this, uh, this little room here, this little so small storage room was haunted. It's got a little round tour, like a little storage room. I used to think this place was haunted and so like I said the lights turn on by themselves, but they would they would turn on even when there was nobody around. I would be sat I'd be over there working. I mean I'd be far away. I'd be outside of this room all the way through those doors. And this, these lights will just turn on by themselves if no one around. I don't know, maybe a bug. Could they, can bugs do that? Can bugs make the lights, the sensors turn on? I don't know. But there was always a feeling here, about here, that was like really negative. And, and I would talk to people during the day and they would say, oh, I saw, they, they, said, they said they they saw someone said, I saw they saw this girl sat here working. And yet there was no one in here at the time, which is pretty bloody odd if you think. Yeah, someone was sat here working. There was like nobody else in the building. Uh, yeah, again, pretty odd. And then, so it, it always felt there was some strange negative in here. And then all of a sudden, uh, there's a trap door up there. Who knows what that leads to? Do we want to know? <laughs> and then all of a sudden it went. I don't feel I don't feel the negative energy in here anymore like I, I used to. Um, it's like a couple of years ago now. But there's got to be something spiritual going on in here. There's got to be ghosts. There's got to be because right below the ground. Yeah. Do you know what's underneath here? Mortuary. Yeah, I'm not kidding, the, the mortuary, it's, it's right underneath, it's right underneath here. There's a lift so on the other part of the building that goes right down under it. Um, and they store all the bodies there, and of all that's going on at the moment, there's a lot of bodies down there. Uh, I heard, I heard someone talking about it. someone there who works, uh, down like, a mortuary, who, someone who works in the mortuary downstairs. Somebody who knows them was, was talking to them, and apparently there's a lot of bodies down there. Yeah, which is very nice, but yeah, so the more the more trees down there, so you kind of get a lot of you know, There's a lot of people dying and you're gonna get a lot of energy going around I know there's a lift that goes down into motor. I don't I don't think I, I think I don't think it'd be a good idea if I went down there <clears throat> I probably could I probably could get down there, but I probably could but I'm not gonna do that I think YouTube would probably probably wouldn't appreciate me going down into a mortuary <laughs> No, with the relatives of the people who are down there, I don't think that I'd, I don't think that would go down well. 
But yeah, this 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 whole area, I mean, it's just car. Yeah, lot of lot of people have died. There's got to be some ghosts moving around. It's got to be. And we're going to capture them one day. We're going to catch something. You'll see. You'll see. We'll we'll catch something eventually. Something will happen, and we will get it on this on this camera, or possibly a newer, better camera that doesn't keep losing focus all the time. I think that's it for now. Okay, my friends, stay spooky, hmm? and remember. Remember. Fear is the only true emotion. Look to the shadows. We are not alone. See you later, folks. I'm just going to add a little bit of a bonus onto the video i just done. I've actually have seen... Actually, I feel a bit nervous. <laughs> I've seen a sh I have seen a shadow. I've got to be careful because it might be somebody. I've seen a shadow stood there again. By the door. Oh! They've gone. They've gone, haven't they? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. There was, there was, um, yeah, that figure was stood there again, like, what on earth are they doing standing there, whoever the hell it is, at this time? Does make any sense? It's my fault. It's my fault because I, um, it was too late. Yeah, messed that one up. Damn. Gotta be careful, because you know. <laughs> Whoever the hell it was, they vanished, man. They, they did not hang around. Yeah, they did not hang around. Probably just a, probably just a pedestrian, I guess. Yeah, it's got to be they're wearing a bag. Still really weird. Again, still really weird. Again, I stress the time and that it's a lockdown and that there shouldn't really be anyone hanging around. Yeah. But I don't think it was our infamous shadow man. 
After all, I, I think I was just someone wandering around. Yeah, I think that's a wrap for now.